Hello, and thank you so very much for joining me tonight. I go by Loon and Nate, and what I'm creating for you today for the collective here could simply be a relaxing video with some potentially ASMR um, yummy triggers, I hope. Could be a method for you to communicate to your subconscious and just chew on some ideas or, you know, get some beneficial, empowering thoughts kind of swirling around. Or, and, if you're open to energy work by proxy, if you're open to Reiki, if you're open to uh, intentions and prayer moving beyond time and space, then you can certainly use this as an energy work session for yourself. I am an energy work teacher, Reiki teacher, master teacher, and I truly love studying healing arts modalities of all different kinds. Reiki is certainly my foundation. So I just want to say thank you so much to those of you in the Patreon community, um, to those of you who I've been so blessed to work with. I just can't say thank you enough. Thank you to those of you watching this channel. Thank you to those of you who comment and like or share something uplifting or positive or or even just validating you know of your experience in the comments it's so nice to see this little community kind of symbiotically supporting one another so thank you so much for all of that all of that i'm so grateful our theme for today is about confidence and humility the confidence to know that you can do anything you can do, you can create yourself as, you can experience, you can manifest anything. But the humility to know that you still have to pay your dues, or you still have to take the steps, or you still need to approach this from a humble perspective and have gratitude for the experience and gratitude for every, every lesson, every loss that provides to you a lesson. And with this, we just create a very solid foundation. We create a empowered concept of moving through our own development and not the shame or the self-criticism potentially that we can feel when we feel like we've failed or, you know, things didn't work out exactly how we planned for them to, but they are working out in their own divine way. So please use this however you see fit. We're still, I'm still, in Pisces season as I record this for you. And I do apologize for my breathing. I'm just, I have like a sinus thing going on. It's not helping. <laughs> so I sound very funny to myself in my head. But I have a little of the magic from the batch of Pisces candles that I made. Well inspired by Pisces. It's not just Pisces, but each time I make a batch of candles, I'm, you know, taking the influence of the season on when people will be receiving them. So I have some of this yummy stuff left, <laughs> and I'm going to put it in our candle that we're working with today. And I did get some comment thing that beautiful friend Juliana gave this to me in Costa Rica, so I really treasure this vessel. Right. So I don't have any, do I? Maybe I do. Maybe I was incorrect there for a sec, but I'm just going to wish I had more hands <laughs> and take some of this mix here of herbs of resin of metal and gemstones and sprinkle it into our candle there we go and just put the lid on tight Now 
that we have our candle dressed a little. I'm gonna use some matches. These are strawberry incense matches. and greatest good. This might pop a little. I had a little like clump at the top of the wick. Imperfect comfort and alignment. Our intention today is to support our own development of confidence within ourselves, trust within our abilities, a Piscean trust that it is in us. It is available to us. It is creatable. It can be easy. It can be like ease is what I mean by that. Not necessarily. Easy is not my favorite word, <laughs> but there can be ease. There can be grace. There can be a divine unfolding that happens as we are guided to experience certain things or create things or become different versions of ourselves or all of this stuff. And that's gorgeous and that's perfect, right? But there needs to be always the balance of humility, of knowing that there are people who have come before us that are, you know, let's say our mentors or authors or, um, you know, um, elders as well, let's say. These are just examples. I don't mean to say that this is the only kind of group that we can draw from when we speak of humility, right? But more so, the humility within ourselves to know that things take time and things don't always come so precisely naturally. They can come naturally. I'm stumbling on my words here. But the refinement, you know, like things, you can be a natural, but still to refine, to practice, to put in the work, to put in the hours, you know, as much as, you know, <laughs> sometimes we don't want to hear that there are hours, there is, you know, growing pains that come and all of this stuff. So we just want to honor this balance and, you know, kind of work with these activations within ourselves to embody this more confidently <laughs> and with greater, um, you know, humility, humbleness, gratitude for the experiences, all right? And when I speak of humility, I do not mean self-deprecation. I think as much as I am a self-deprecating person, I think this is kind of sometimes a great issue that we face in how we communicate, how we talk to ourselves. I'd love to also invite us to offer an intention to allow your soul to tune into that confidence, <clears throat> excuse me, tune into that confidence, but from a point or, and from a point of soul experience, you know, like the greater picture of what you've come here to do or create or um, move through and create waves that are experienced by others. And know that you are affected by the waves of others as well, right? And it's just this beautiful collective web or dance that we're all kind of moving through. And of course, sorry, I almost forgot. I'd love for you to have a little look at this flame here, this candle, this light, this portal this doorway and send in your own wish related to confidence, related to gratitude, related to your development, your endeavors, your personal creative process. Ooh, I don't want it to go out. Sorry, I was kind of dipping it. I'll have to just gaze at the, the glow here. <laughs> but 
to just set that intention to be your best self. Not that there's anything wrong with you at the moment, but just for the sake of evolution, for the sake of soul experience. Right? And if you're struggling in any area of your life with confidence at this point, it'd be a great specific intention to set for yourself. is a piece of rectorite. It's um, a mineral that is found in sugalite. I might be mispronouncing. It's a beautiful blue, like gorgeous, gorgeous blue color. Not very common that I've seen anyway. And we're bringing this in for the peace, you know, the peace in development, the peace in process, the honoring of self, the, um, like, gosh, it's really hard for me to describe why I feel called to use this stone, but it ties into the mastery of the experience of the cycles of not mastering them as in I am the master, but mastering them as in I allow these cycles. I've mastered my perspective to allow, to receive, to not be attached, to grow and unfold and uncoil and release and share in ways that is aligned to my soul. There's a kind of protective element here as well. then have this gorgeous um, golden healer that was given to me by another creator here or someone who has a YouTube channel that shares their digs it was a hand in mind um, I believe his YouTube channel is John's Corner but golden healers are very activating like the story behind this is too much to share right now but just divine like divinely orchestrated I like was literally searching for a golden healer and I got an email out of the blue from this person being like I want to give you a golden healer I was like you can't make this stuff up like you can't right but this has such a beautiful quality of awakening of self not to say you're sleeping but this like constant like like beckoning you know like to the surface of your ego your personality your evolution your high soul coming to the surface there's a lot of confidence energy i would say in golden healers very healing for all the chakra points in general and just a really incredible stone i love it so much blue apatite it's such a gorgeous shade of blue I wish that there wasn't so much blue here to take away from but if you're curious google blue apatite and you will see how truly gorgeous this is this is from monk and moon and it is a absolutely beautiful generator and apatite has a gorgeous quality of confidence I would say of personal energy and this blue one I like to work with, yes, for the, the, what we might picture, the solar plexus, but also for the throat, for the consciousness, for how we think about things. To remember, right? To be humble, to be grateful, to um, alchemize our experiences and take the lesson from a loss, you know? Or at least that's my intention today with this. There's many ways to use it. 
any of these stones, of course. They're all very beautiful. And I'm placing this right above our candle. Now, similarly, this is, that was carved. This is a raw piece of yellow apatite. And I'm like, oh, how gorgeous, right? I got this in um, Boulder with my friend Allison. So insanely gorgeous. So again, that confidence, that personal power, that personal energy. But here, with the yellow, yellowy green, more tied to the heart, to the lower drive of will, walking the path, showing up, remembering that along the way, it's not just about us, but what we can do for other people. It's not just about work, it's about our work being meaningful. This gorgeous piece that I got from the real crystal witch of um, Libyan desert glass or Egyptian. It's not really Egypt, but sometimes it's called Egyptian desert glass. And this happened when a meteor hit the sand um, and it kind of melted the sand into this, from what I understand anyway. You could correct me if I am incorrect. <laughs> mixing with the heat from the asteroid or whatever it was that crashed into the earth in the desert this gorgeous glass was formed almost looked like sea glass and I love this for the sort of I mean maybe it's just the name Egypt right but I think about you know Isis I think about um, the Hathors I think about just this like ancient empowered the um, quality of deity that lives within us as individuals, right? I just really love the power behind this. So again, I got this from The Real Crystal Witch, if you're curious. It has a bit of like goddess energy, although I don't want to feminize it. Okay, and I'll bring it back. Forgive me for keeping you out of focus for so long. And I'm just going to place this between the blue apatite and the candle. So, actually, I want to use Gorgeous rope and twisting. I like how it makes a nine or six. So, our intention here is to connect with the etheric form, empower, cleanse, release, shift and move. Armpit, <laughs> shoulder, around this joint, and the other elbows, wrists, and the other around the neck, back of the neck. Down the length of the front 
wondering I see yourself, how you see certain circumstances, situations, potential, how you see false ceilings, how you see yourself <laughs> busting through them, how you see yourself calling through your divinity, your soul, your soul messages and communication, how spirit or God or the universe moves through you. moving through you. Stay safe. see yourself, how you see circumstances, situations, how you connect with potential. And don't limit it. Don't shatter it. Don't find the fault. Trust. See and understand your gratitude. Shifting your 
your story, shifting your tra trajectory. And being comfortable with such, being confident with such. Just gonna move through to the throat and the solar. Just wanna bridge these points. Extract. Any crack in confidence, any um, imposed feeling of reality, feeling of self that limits in any way who you can be, what you can do, what you can build, what you can experience. Sometimes essential oils get a little thick, right? Just need a drop. There we go. <laughs> I haven't used this one in a while. Okay, we're gonna just focus again on these points. Calling through that intention whatever is most perfectly aligned to you for you to receive, not through the screen necessarily but through the, the subtle realms through your inner self, your inner shifts your own energetic force I see like a lightsaber we're just sending in visions Complete limitlessness. Complete um, grounded, but you know, sky's the limit kind of feeling. What you can do, what you're capable of. Even if you're physically not capable of something, there are other ways, right? There are other supports and resources. things inside of you is really what we want to be focused on here coming together all the lessons all the past lives all the karmic teachings all the school of life school of hard knocks <laughs> experiences all the books all the movies all the songs Forming, shaping, flowing to what's important to you, what's beneficial. Focusing on the sacral, excuse me, the solar plexus. The space again of self, of movement, of creation, of embodying, of letting your sun, your soul. the humility 
life's not really trying to knock down the humble folks. You know what I mean? The universe isn't like, hey, <laughs> you're too humble. I'm going to give you this. But it can knock someone down who forgets to connect with their humility, right? It's possible. Deixamos-se thing of investments, like the humility to know you sometimes have to invest in yourself, in the work. I don't know, it's kind of a, like a <laughs> prism message. <laughs> the Reiki symbols more often, but I honestly just don't use them that much in my practice. I connect with them in different ways. And also, um, it's kind of, it's kind of interesting. We're kind of meant to keep them, like, close to the chest, you know, so I honor that tradition. Alright, so I want to share my love with you, <laughs> share my gratitude. Thank you so much for allowing me to share a little piece of your path tonight and for you to be such a significant part of mine. From the very bottom of my heart, I bow to the divine within you and within I to this connection we share. The 
that I'm so grateful for. Much love to you.